here with head coach David Chadbourne, Franklin Pierce men's basketball team. Franklin Pierce getting set for Southern Connecticut State on Wednesday night. Yep. And uh, coach, before we uh, look ahead to that game, look back to this game on Sunday. Um, Pretty tough, feisty effort by St. Mike's, uh, yeah. and you guys had to come from behind to win that. So, good character building game uh, yeah. for you guys, and nice to get the win. Just talk about the win. Yeah, well, it was um, we knew it was going to be tough. I mean, you can't go in our league, especially. You can't go by the record. I mean, there's no there's no easy ones. Everybody's prepared. Um, they're just they're a talented young team. I think they're still trying to figure out how to win, and. Um, and luckily for us, I mean, we picked it up in the second half, played much better, and especially Anthony Lassane stepped up and, and really did some nice things for us in the, in the last half and, and really helped us get over the top there. Yeah, and um, uh, Eric Jean Guillaume, uh, yeah. who, of course, missed the previous two games, yeah. uh, he comes back in and, um, you know, like without missing a beat, hits a couple big shots, especially oh, in the second half. Yeah. Um, uh, what can a healthy Eric do in the second half of the season? Well, hopefully we get him healthy. Yeah. He's still yeah. not. I mean, he played probably at 80% against St. Mike's. And, again, he did hit some big shots for us. And See, that when you're such a good player, sometimes, you know, I forget. You, know, you take him for granted until you don't have him. And, um, but, we're, you know, we're working on getting him healthy. I mean, if he's healthy, then obviously we're a lot better and, you know, and his potential is, is unlimited. The player that's stepped up and hit some shots for you since the – start of the second half of the season, uh, Tyler Icon, who <laughs> he, we didn't hear anything from the first half of the season, yeah. and he had seven points uh, uh, against Queens and then yeah. uh, hit a big three in each of the last two games. Yeah. Um, what what can he uh, bring to this team here in the second well, half I mean, of the season? Ty's a freshman. I mean, I think it's taken him some time to, to adjust mm -hmm. to this level. and um, He's just a tough kid, man, he, and he's a very skilled, instinctual player. Um, he can make open shots, which he's proven, and he's certainly not afraid to shoot open shots. Um, I think as time goes by and he gets more opportunity, he'll be more of a contributor. How um, um, how much do you like this part of the season? Because it's almost like a return to, to training camp or preseason because the, the guys don't have class. Yeah. You know, you can get them for a shoot around in the morning like you guys had today yeah. in practice and the games. and They're just focused on basketball. Yeah, no, it's how, great. I was going to say, how, how crucial of a time is this for, you know, seeing improvement even from some of the players? Because you can almost get, I don't want to say get back to basics, but you can have a little bit of extra time to work on fundamentals. And that no, it's, stuff. it's huge. It's huge. Not having the distraction of having to do all, all these other things with homework and assignments and all that and just being able to kind of focus. It's a great team building time as well um, because they're always together. There's nobody really else on campus but a couple other teams and it's really just about us and, and getting better and, and, and working at it. So it's it's a vital part of the season. Starting uh, tomorrow night, gets a next couple of weeks it's a stretch of teams that you only play once in yeah. conference it's it's different from the Bentleys and Stonehills right. where you play them twice you you kind of grow really accustomed to them yeah. uh, playing these teams once and with Southern Connecticut State um, how much tougher is it to prepare because you don't you only get them once you yeah. don't get to see them a second time and then make adjustments uh, just uh, I, I think it's tough but I mean it's you know it's yeah. like anything I mean it, it almost feels like two separate leagues although we're in the same league um, and in that side, the eight teams we play on that side are all good teams. They all, you know, it's just this league is 16 teams that can play. And you just, it, it, it's hard to explain that to kids. And they got to understand that you've got to step up and be good every night or you're, you're probably going to lose. All right, that's head coach David Chadbourne. Coach, uh, good luck tomorrow night against Southern Connecticut. We'll Thank talk you. to you here uh, later on this week. Okay.